Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see what is paper format and how to implement paper format in Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend QF template, this check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development level is here. And here you can see different type of playlist available with different topics and with the real tab tab. If you need any support, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. And we have also source code also available in the GitHub. We have some social media pages. Make sure you can follow. And yes, don't forget to subscribe this channel to get the latest notification. So let's get to our main topic like what is paper format, right? So let's say why you are trying to generate a PDF file from the Odoo using the QWeb format, right? The QWeb template. That time, the like Odoo provides a different type of layout you can also generate, especially the PDF layout, the size of the report. So that's called a paper format. So for that, you can go to the settings, in the technical, you can scroll down and you can see the reporting. And you can see here the paper format, right? There are three types of paper format available here. By default, it's the F4 size. Here you can see there are different types of paper size available here, right? Then after orientation, you can see if you want to print this report in landscape or portrait, you can choose like this. Then after the margins is available, top, bottom, left and right. Then after like let's say the header spacing and the DPI also available here. So this is called a paper format model and by default it's the A4 size. If you remember last time we created a simple demo about how to create a small PDF report from the QWeb template, right? So that time we didn't use any of this paper format. So by default they are using A4 size. Alright? So like let's say in this discussion we are trying to create the same A4 size but in, a, in our own way. Alright? So how can we create our own paper format and add this new customized paper format in our report. So for that let me go to an editor, view web report, student profile and you can see we created multiple templates right. And now I am trying to create a new record like id equal to model something like this. Alright, and now let's say here as a model we have to use here report dot paper format. Let's just do down custom report paper format. So here is the name field we have to mention like student custom paper format it, it could be anything here right so don't confuse here now onwards we have to use our specific field name only so for that like we can use here like let's say here as a format should be like let's say a4 if you don't know what is the format you can see here this is the format right and right now i'm choosing as the option is a4 then after orientation, you can see orientation we can use the landscape. So for that, like let's say orientation, oh sorry, landscape. Let me double check spelling. All right, so it sounds good. Then after like first thing is we have to display here page underscore h e i g h p zero then after page underscore width as a zero then after the margin like margin underscore top should be like five let me copy top bottom left right so bottom should be 5, left should be 5, right should be 5, no changes. And then after we can use here what is what else is missing like let's say header fashion. 
okay head of question is 35 here 35 and the dpi is let's say 90 so we only change is the land step from the port right right so this is the main thing only and let me copy this id and you can see this is our report format right uh let me first i'm going to here duplicate in a student profile you can see this is a default format right for the pdf file now let me duplicate this one or uh, not this one this one trying to print the student report and now this is a report right now how can we use this paper format right so for that you can use like this here field name and here we have to use paper format underscore id this is a many to one field so we have to pass here the specific id with the module name and now let me upgrade this module and I'm, I'm trying to upgrade module from the backend side all right and I'm going to here and print the report. Maybe some error. Oh, this ah, okay maybe spelling mistake VIP sorry DPI <laughs> spelling mistake alright let me upgrade one more time minimize and I'm trying to reprint this the profile now you can see right you can see this one this is the a4 size and now you can see this is a landscape so this is the main difference here and if you go to here you can see the new paper format also generated right and you can also directly change from like this like let's say you want to top margin like 46 pixels right or in a mm if you reprint you can see it will print exactly the header part and the landscape you can see this is a four size and this is a landscape so like this way you can customize the layout of the few web report all right so this is a basic idea about how to create your own paper format and how to club this paper format in your specific report right and here you can see we forcefully use in our report the student card report right so that's the reason it's updated here also and you can also add multiple reports here from the front end side as well as in the back end side so there is no any restriction right so this is the main purpose how to create paper format in Odoo and our next session should be how to create a full QWeb report with fancy bootstrap classes alright so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session